regularly testing for COVID-19 antibodies in several Utah communities reveals a rate that is well above the statewide COVID-19 infection rate. That likely means more folks have had the virus than COVID-19 testing alone actually shows. New specials Jed Bowl live in Draper tonight. Jed, you had your test today. I'm glad to see you still standing. Yeah, fortunately, my test was negative, Dave. You know, more than 500 people lined up and paid $70 in order to get a COVID-19 antibody test today here in Draper to find out if they had COVID-19 and didn't already know it. The cities of Draper, uh, Bluffdale, Riverton, and Vineyard are sponsoring COVID-19 antibody testing for residents through a private company, Rapid Screen Solutions. This is information that the cities and the residents want in order to make important decisions. We're just curious to see if we've had it, and if so, I'd like to be able to donate. Within 48 hours of the announcement of COVID-19 antibody testing, more than 2,500 people signed up. I got really sick a couple months ago, and nobody really knew why, so I was really curious if I had ever had COVID. Sold out until the cities announced more testing. Once we get the data collated and can figure out what it means, um, I think we can start to understand, you know, how widespread has it been. The goal is to detect antibodies related to COVID-19 to determine the true infection rate so leaders can make decisions. A COVID-19 virus test indicates whether a person has the virus. A COVID-19 antibody test indicates whether a person has already had COVID-19. You are a bleeder. My antibody test came back negative. Statewide, among those tested for COVID-19, 4.3% tested positive, but the rate for those testing positive for COVID-19 antibodies in two communities so far is more than twice that rate at 11%. When I see an 11% number in our first two days, that really surprised me is a lot more people than I thought. So all of your results came back negative? One reason the antibody test rate is higher is that these people chose to get tested because they thought they might have been sick. My doctor thinks I possibly could have had the virus if it was here then. Ellen Burke is here on her doctor's advice. She's the primary caregiver for her 88-year-old mother. Who is in three high-risk groups, so I want to make sure that I'm safe so I can keep her safe. Yeah, that's certainly one of the most important reasons that anybody would want to find out if they had already had COVID-19. Again, this opportunity for antibody testing has already been sold out, but those communities hope to schedule some more tests in the future. Mayor Walker says that he'd like to do that testing once a week. That data also, when they know more about it, sometime later this week or early next week, they'll break it down into zip codes so that residents and business leaders can find out how to make those important decisions based on location. Guys? Well, Jed, all your coworkers here are happy you tested negative today. <laughs> Thanks, Jed. Our team